technology issues today. Hey, the my switch stops for a moment and showing up on this. Then we disconnect. Well, hi Miles. I see you'll be taking. Hi, Miles. Edward will be taking her place. The prosecution is ready, naturally. This phone call, Mama Chan, a white soldier, is currently undergoing surgery. Luckily, I have worked this case over and am familiar with the details. The prosecution seeks to prove the guilt of Mr. Matt Engard. So the court acknowledges the prosecution. Right? I finally found the answer I'm struggling for on my long journey this past year. By the time this case comes to end, you too will know the answer. Huh? I'm confused! Now then, the prosecution would like to call its first witness. Please bring Detective Gumshoe to the witness stand. Witness your name and occupation. My name's Dick Gumshoe, sir! I'm a detective down to the Brinksaint, for now! And you Jane Miss Gama confirm you Miss Von Gama confirm me and I don't very much like it. For now. After this trial's over, I'm supposed to turn in my badge, sir. That's what Miss Von Gama said. The detective got you. The prosecution has no need for a depressed witness. Lift your head up and face forward like the proud officer. Like a proud officer, Detective Dick Gumshoe. Y yes, sir. Yeah, you do, yes, sir. Now, let's have your testimony. If we want to explore the various facets of this case, we must start with that. Get ready, Phoenix. This is going to be one very rough fight. Yeah, it would have to be with Edward as my opponent. That's what you're struggling for. Interesting. Yeah! So, you shoot! One karma, and you get me the second! Another top, and I get another top attorney to replace her. If you want to give me a present, Mr. Kidnapper. Maybe, just maybe, you should have given me like, what was it, Mr. P P Pain or something like that, that we fought, fought the very first, that we were against in the very first trial. Give me him! He's a terrible <laughs> attorney. Bare facts of the case. This map to happen after the hero of heroes awards. Uh, awards are money, sir. The victim, John Godier, was found dead in his hotel. After looking into the cause of death, we believe it was definitely murdered, sir. At first, we thought there were some suspicions about the empty guitar case. However, we later found that the guitar case had nothing to do with the murder. So tells me it has everything to do with the murder. Hmm. After the award set a man ended, the victim was in his room? Yes, sir. Both the victim and the defendant went alone into the room, sir. I see it, Mr. Wright. You may begin your cross-examination. Oh, yay! It's fine, I'm sure it's fine. Okay. Did we ever get an autopsy report?
No, we never got his autopsy report. Dev of Tower. Brown press that. No. Yeah, we're gonna do that. What convinced you it had nothing to do with the case? The cartel wasn't at the gate at one of the dead that night. Well, though, no, what was it? The brat of the was eventually found at the TV studio. The veteran of the cartel had apparently only taken the case with them, sir. So you mean he forgot to put the guitar inside the case? Yes, sir! Even when he was on stage at ceremony, he didn't have his guitar. So that guitar case was empty even before he got to the hotel. Yeah, that's right, so it really had nothing to do with the case after all. Hmm. Our first order should be to gather more info from his testimony. But there might be a trap set up for us somewhere. Maybe. However, setting up traps is part of Valora's job too. If you say so. Of course we're supposed to escape from them too, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Yeah, can you give us a time? Would you please give us a brief timeline of what happened after the ceremony? Okay, Bob, the ceremony started at 6 p.m. It ended around 8 p.m. Then there was a short break. A special post on the show was supposed to start in the lobby 30 minutes later. And that's when the victim of body was found, correct? Which is the side of the motor car during that 13 minute break period. Hmm, well please continue with your testimony, detective. Found Uh, we're just gonna press everything. That's our goal right now. The person who discovered the victim's body was Adrian Andrews, correct? Yeah. <laughs> who is this Adrian Andrews you're talking about? She's the defendant of my God's man, though. She's a real, she's a real pretty lady, sir. Oh, so she's a pretty lady. I wonder if she was aggressive with her presents. When the first saw money show was about to start, she went to get Mr. Engard. After visiting his room, she went to the victim's room to get them for the show. See, and that's when she found the victim's body? Definitely murder, we're pressing that. The cause of death. Wasn't that because Mr. Cordero was stabbed in the chest? Only a ghost I'm a draw would believe something so brainless as that, pal! Take a good hard look at the crime photo. Now, a real pro's attention here will be drawn to this bandana. Hmm, banana. Um, bandana. No, um, bandana, sir. That's the thing wrapped tightly around his neck, sir. Oh. Yes, yes, I see. His banana scented bandana. <laughs> bandana. Oh, Judge, how are you still in your job? Whatever. Then, what about the knife? It seems to have been stuck in the victim's chest on purpose after his death. Hmm, we have a crafty murderer on our hands here. I'll toss a report added to the court record. Finally! Our first we saw something was suspicious about the empty guitar case. Why did you think that? Because it was empty, pal. The German ninja doesn't go anywhere without his private guitar. Or well, couldn't find it anywhere at the scene of the crime. Oh, the how about this though? The family went on the car and did the crime to get it. How's that? Oh, um, we thought of that too, but but the only fingerprints in the guitar case were the victims. Only the victims, huh? I'm sorry. Gloves would cover that up! Sorry.
Oh, that's true. Hmm, I say, ah, oh, so much for my fairy then. Gods are coming to my map. I mean, I know, we already know why it's not there. But. Oh, hmm, I say it's so much for my fairy then. But. Gloves? Like, I'm sorry. There's a reason why you... most people wear gloves when they're coming out. I believe that's enough. First, the victim was choked to death with his bandana. Then, after the victim was dead, the killer was delivered stabbed him with a knife. Hmm. Which brings me to my next point. Why then did the, the police arrest my Engard? Because there was reason enough to suspect him. Here it comes. Looks like Edward's back in full swing. Very well, Detective Gumshoe, please testify about this matter. Yes, sir! I am Rust Engon. My Engon and to deal with hood rivals with each other. But they each thought the other guy was in his way. That's motive enough in my book. As for the evidence, there's the jam and ninja's button. I was ripped off the ninja's costume and was found in Mr. Engard's Hagama. The defendant's fingerprints were also out over the knife. The defendant bought uh, the, the knife for the crime, which makes the supreme edited murder. Hmm. So the defiant fingerprints were found on the knife using the stabbing. It was sort of sticky on the handle, so the uh, f so the fingerprints came out pretty clearly, sir. Knife added to the court record. Th there's this button. That was found in the defense clothes, was it? Hmm. And this button also... And is this button also covered in blood? Yes, and we know what the... That the blood on its victim's blood, sir. What? You have an button added to the court record. Cool! All of this once fell clear to the vent, doesn't it? Yes, it most certainly does, your honor. Ready to give up yet, right? Edworth! Could you maybe once in your life go easy on me? Mine is in danger here. Hm. I'll find the hole in your argument somehow. You will press as hard as you like. Just hurry up with their usual pointless questions. Grr. Why arrest Engard? on that. Wait just one second there. That's how Angar was being cordial in the popularity polls. Well, yeah, I guess, but... Which means that in defendant's eyes, the victim was not a rival at all. Which means he had no motive to kill at all. Hmm, yes, I quite agree. Well, detective? Um, it's not well. I guess if you put it that way, then yeah, the defendant would have no motive. Detective, I'm beginning to see why you were fired. And not, not on you too, Mr. Edward, sir. That's. I look forward to your pension negotiations. Wow! No, no! Wow! Now we have just had him. Let's continue with the testimony. Now, no, detective, let's continue with the testimony. No, not my poor pension, too. Detective, you got your money. I suggest you proceed. Y yes, sir. We can talk about my pension later, sir. Um, what about what I was saying? Hello, anyone? 
That's for Evans. There's the jamming in just button. Yeah. You know how many proof that button belonged to the victim? Huh? What do you mean, pal? Oh, um, let me put it this way. I'm asking if you have any back of your claim that this button was ripped off the jam in this ninja's costume. Huh? But get to jail just by looking at it? I, I, I'm the victim's blood is on it. I don't kind of smear that blood on there afterward. But, but Sir Edward, help me, sir! Alright, I knew I had to... It had to be this piece of ads. That's a real, this one in. Thread. Huh? The bottom wants to touch the costume by thread, obviously. And that thread snapped when the button was torn off. If you match up the ends of the thread on the costume with the thread on the button, it's a perfect match. Yeah, that's it, that perfect match, Belle. You tell him, Mr. Edworth. <laughs> Urk. Mr. Edworth for you never misses a beat. Uh, Hakama? Maybe you can explain what Hakama. When was this button found? But it's in after the button was found, we rounded everybody up and knew Mr. Cordia. And then we did a search in them all. That's when we found the button. Hmm. So it was almost immediately after the murder. The police didn't have free time to don't didn't have free time to log out and play tricks. Unlike some people. Hey, what's he trying to say about me here? It's all over the knife. Yeah, we're pressing that. The small way this was premeditated or error, even if he bought the knife. It's all about this is some pocket knife. Does it fall to sound great for walking around with either? Oh, well, this is not good. Prosecution can prove Prima and Jemma were done for. Phoenix? Yes? There's something very interesting about what the detective just said right now. Think carefully before it's too late. The button covered in victim's blood and a knife with Edgar's fingerprints. Be grateful. If the judge were more rash, he would already have pounded his grab a little. Well, in closing, we're still in a world of trouble. Well, before any battle, you must find your enemy's weakness. So let's find the weakness of this testimony, no matter how small it may be. Okay, Phoenix? of your argument is that this was a premeditated murder is simply that my client bought a knife beforehand. That's right, Belle. The defendant did not buy this knife. Huh? huh Take a good look at my handle of this knife and you'll see what I'm talking about. Huh? It has a get water seal set into the handle. Get water? I think I've heard that name somewhere before. That's the name of the hotel. The Gatewater Hotel. Keep up, detective. 
Uh oh. The murder knife is actually property of the hotel, which means that this murder was not premeditated. Yes, that's very true. This is very big. <laughs> what? Well, what's... Is that Mr. Edward? I'm sorry, but the defense is simply too careless. What? I think one of the crimes is premeditated or not. All of that to be determined. But how so? I am back. This not is hotel's property. There is no one currently on the police force that is dumb enough not to realize this. But I need to know. Oh, Quimper. The question is, where did this knife come from? Okay, I do want to know how Detective Gumshoe became a detective. <laughs> do I? Why, that's obvious to came from the victim. It's a good deal from. Sorry, your honor, but that is incorrect. The virgin ate a last meal before his murder, with that being the case. I would like to draw the court's attention to what's on top of the table. There's a knife and a fork on- There's a knife and a fork on the table. Then, where in the world did this knife come from? If it pleases the court, I would like for us to recall the room of the defender, Mr. Matt Engard. <gasps> no! Shit. Especially what was on the top of this table. But can we prove? Of his table. There is something missing, perhaps. It is a single knife. Oh, gosh. We investigated a lot of dishes for fingerprints, and while we were investigating, we came to the conclusion that Mr. Matt Engar's knife was missing. Erk. Mr. Engar has gone to the victim's room with the knife he had used on dinner. Which, why would he carry a knife on the visit? To kill, of course. All of that, I believe the prosecution has proven this was a premeditated murder. <laughs> oh my, that's Audrey. Absolutely brilliant. A brilliantly clear deduction. Seems like Edward had this point from the very beginning. It's been one of those traps and I just walked into it, headlong into it. More what the whole thing about and I bought him from the victim's costume. There is quite a sizable amount of evidence here. I can safely say that with any that any further deliberation is a waste of your time, your your honor's time. Although I wouldn't mind if the defense were present if the defense were to present evidence not yet shown to the court. That's not yet shown to the court. Phoenix, he's giving us an opening! It's evidence that the court hasn't seen yet. In other words, new evidence. What does the fact have to say about this, Mr. White? Um, well, Phoenix, the judge is favoring the prosecution right now. We have to answer for something. If we answer for something wrong here, that grounds will, will, will be ringing out the sound of our defeat. Um, so we're just gonna save. What's more, do you have stuff important necessary to present to this court? Actually, I do! There's one! One piece of evidence that catches my attention, so that this court has yet to see. Mr. Rod? I will say this one more time. I do not feel this trial needs to continue at all. However, I'm giving you one chance, and only one. What the judge is saying about is, don't try pulling any one of your usual bluffs here. If I mess this up, it's curtains for all of us. It's a good thing I saved right here. Uh, uh, for this, um... 
give you my now present one and only one piece of evidence. Now then, what is the support evidence that you must show to the court? Um, it's gotta be one of these two suicide reports. I'm gonna go with this one because it involves The victim. Take that. No, so a lot, but this time you're put up and still do you wrong. I can see not for strong about this piece of evidence. Shoot! Wait, wait! I'm on my my what, Mr. Wright? <laughs> That's enough. Of course, no reason for it to prolong the trial. Nor is there any need for, for more time to decide the case against the defendant. This case is certainly clear. I see no room for misinterpretation of the facts. This court finds the defendant, Matt and God. This is the first time I've gotten a guilty verdict! The accused will surrender to the court immediately. To be held hearing trial at a, a higher court within a month from today's date. That's all. This court is adjourned. <laughs> well, that person I was say to present to the score. Actually, I do. There's one. Yep, one piece of evidence. Yep, to sing. I. However, I'm gonna one chance on only one. Now, Ben, what is the support evidence that you must show to the court? Take that! No! Dang it! Uh, what am I supposed to show here? Options low. We're not going for that again. Oh. How am I supposed to do? Okay, I have two ideas that we want to go with. If these fail, I'm just going to look up what I'm supposed to do. There's one. One chance, yeah, yeah, yeah. You might now put up one and only one piece of evidence. 
Now, what is the simple evidence that you must show to the court? We're going to go with the magazine clipping first, then we'll go with Vlada's camp. Take that! So, I'm a swap of the sun. Nope, okay. Load? because I am stuck and I have no clue. I did all the answers that I feel fit. Fit well. With the assumption of the press conference, maybe. Okay, let's do the press conference. <gasps> Unless it's that glass. Okay, two more pieces of evidence. Then I'm looking thing it up. That's what I do. me wrong yeah 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 I know here we'll save at this part okay maybe it's the glass not the glass. I, I'm stuck. Let's <gasps> mm. listen to the wine glass. So they're not, I got the right thing. It took me like five tries. But I got it. <laughs> This, this is a wine glass, is it not? Please look at the photo of the crime scene one more time. The scene is a mess because of the victim's struggle against his assailant. The vase was broken, his makeup all over the floor. These are all things that were at one point set on top of the dresser. Well, yes, I see your point. However, this glass is that is sitting on the top of the dresser is mysteriously untouched. The only thing that had not fallen over with everything else is this wine glass. This piece of evidence is more than strange enough to warrant further consideration. Well, well what do you all have to say? Oh, well, yes. It is a little peculiar. Y yes, isn't it? I thought it was. You can stop looking at me with those puppy dog eyes of yours now. But Sir Edwolf? What is it, your honor? Your opinion? You don't need my opinion. Because there is no special minion to that glass. What? It's safe to say the wine glass was set there after the crime took place. But the person who discovered the body, Adrian Andrews, for example. You don't find that at all? 
that she just casually set the wine glass down. And then drop it when she saw a body! She could have easily been so shocked when she set the glass down without thinking. But that sounds better possible, almost alright. Could Miss Andrews really have set that glass down without thinking? No. There's no way. Five here, we care. The trial is over. I can look for my pro player. For now, I should trust my son. Point of certainty. They might just fall for if you were thought provoking enough. The defense would like to challenge the prosecution's theory. We would like to see something that proves of Miss Andrews who set the cup on the table. Hmm. You've turned the situation on its head yet again, as usual. Mr. Edward, do you have any proof to back up your claim? There's no way he has any, he's just bluffing. Unlike Mr. Wright, I never said anything unless I have the evidence to support it. Well, what? You're not thinking hard enough today, Mr. Wright. Did you think the swanger has escaped my notice? That then. Of course, it's been thoroughly expected for fingerprints. The fingerprints? There is only one set of fingerprints left on this wine glass. Only one? Well, who's were they? They were not the victims nor the defendants. Rather, they were one of Miss Adrian Andrews. Yes, but why would she not have dropped it? I'm sorry. You open the door, Sam or Barry. If you're shot. The shot. Why would you walk up to the body and place it down? Why would you not either drop it or just immediately place it down and go running? Also, why is it fully full? Oh, no. Oh, even if she was carrying it and then ran and put it down, it should not be that full. There should be. Whatever is in the wine glass spilled over. She put it there. But sweetheart, she didn't murder. Wine glass update in the courtroom's record. That's why I said that the prosecutor who discovered the body had left it there. I would, I would not hear what's alright. I can't believe I fell into our trap. Plus, Andrews was probably holding the glass when she went to see Miss Cordelia. While Pazin and Zeb Bonnie, she was stunned and set the glass down on the dresser. Hmm. What you said? It just sounded like it's awesome. Wouldn't it make more sense that you dropped it? And, you know, it would be less full? Just, just, no, do you see, right? You can't change any part of my scenario as it explains everything all too well. No, Phoenix, there's some flaws. Time to pick at them. Please give me the option. But long and hard this part of what means to be a prosecutor. And from here out, I will show you the answer I've come to discover. But wait a second, Mr. Edward, I think the prosecutor has brought enough evidence for me to enter my verdict. No, 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 no. Unfortunately, I cannot allow you to pass judgment yet. The prosecution has yet another witness we would like the court to hear from. Another witness. <gasps> Forgive Miss Andrews. Please. It's the only way. It's the only way I'm able to save this case. Yes. Bella, please bring in the next witness. Please bring in the next witness. What in the world is Mr. Edward thinking? Is he purposely trying to help me win? Now but witness, please state your name and occupation. Witness, your name and occupation, please. Gotcha! G-O-T-C-H-A Grrr. I wonder what happened to that calm composure he had earlier. Oh, Angie boy, it's been what, a year since we last met, hasn't it? Could you be more happy to see me? I saw the report. Report with the best of money, but who knew that under that helmet, 
Who is the Wicked Witch of the Witness Stand? <laughs> That's getting saved. <laughs> I tell you, this time I know what I'm supposed to do. So today, I'm going to tell you anything and everything. Even the things that don't have to do with that terrible crime. Well, th this witness, that terrible crime is all that court needs to know. Oh, shush, I'm talking to my dear Edgy Wedgie right now. Don't interrupt us, Gramps. Y yes, madam. No, 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 please, by all means, interrupt her, please. <laughs> oh, no. anyway, witness, your testimony, please. It's true what they say, you have more hard-headed nowadays. Not that I mind at all, Edgy. Now then, what should I start with? The witness was on security detail at the night at the hotel on the night of the murder. Is this correct, Miss Oldbag? It was a great job being able to see my dearie drawn. There's almost too much for my little heart to handle, you man. Your or fan of the victim? Like everyone is so crazy about the anger saying he's cute in a fresh way or something. But not me. I wouldn't say anything so silly. After all, I have no interest in a child like him. I'm only interested in a real man, John Cordia. Oh, uh, but I was still at the same age. Anyway, as I was saying, I was pacing in front of his room that night. Farewell, please tell the court what you witnessed the night of the murder. Leave it to me, Edgy Poo! Oh dear. <laughs> no. Why? Edward, why would you. I know you didn't know it was her. Oh boy. What you witness. Anyway, after the ceremony, I went to pace around the hall. My friend is room. There was something I was interested in finding out, you know. Well, since I was on the job, I made sure to keep a good eye out the whole time. That was when someone showed up. It was a man coming out of poor John's room. It was Angle, not Angle. He was trying to sneak his way out of John's room. Hmm, so that Angle came out from the victim's room. See, it had to be him. He's the murderer. I see. Well, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Oh, dear. Slots do I have anyway? I'm all ten. Yeah, we're gonna ask about it. something you were interested in, and just what was that? It's not a, a little thing I can just go around telling everyone, you know. Top secret between me and John. Ah, an edgy poo, of course. Mr. Adolf was this thing she was interested in. I have no idea. I just find it's gossip, Your Honor. Gossip? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but should it prove relevant, we can always have an appendix to a testimony later. But it's like we shouldn't force it right now. My light is blinking. I don't like it. Hmm. And other the witness sat in the vicinity of the victim's room the entire time. Well, since I was on the job, I made sure to keep a good eye out the whole time. That's why someone showed up. There's a man coming out of poor John's room. Oh, we're gonna press that. Who in the world was that? I'm not allowed to say. This sort of information has been carefully got from the masses, Sonny. The man that came out of John's room, it was. He was. Yes, he was. Ah, oh, I'm too scared. I can't say his name out loud. Oh, what? 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 Get to have Francisco Rip. 
What for I about now? Well, I guess I can tell you since he was such a bad boy anyway. Dang. Yeah. Uh, so that would be useless. You saw my clock? Are you sure about that? Yeah, see? Really? Annoying, bro. When I say I saw someone, I saw that person. I don't get a sense of danger of you. Need to avoid replay and last turn, I should jump into the spit parlor. The person's face. Please tell the core about the man's face in more detail. You didn't need me you don't need me to tell you about his face. A soft gentle look in his eyes and a fluent lips. His right eye covered by his silky hair, his eye and sparkling shining teeth. See for shining? Well, he's shining all around in this week's pinup bus, said DNA. This week's pinup why do you I mean I don't care how he looks in this issue, please say with what you saw that night. <laughs> what? Ain't God's face is the same no matter where it is. You know, you know, you winter whimper snap us almost so what? This touch me just just not important or relevant in any way. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Honor. And perhaps you would like to point out what part of that testimony was important. You don't all have to put it in that, that way to get me to say. What's the what? There's something more valuable than a person's pride. And that is time. Please don't waste this court question time with worthless questions. You, yes, Your Honor. I think I just wasted his good favor. She may not remember things or be mistaken here and there, but I don't think she's lying. That's bad for us, really bad. But that's not how the human mind is. It also has said to to jump off topic. And straight on to a few interesting side topics this time too, hasn't she? That's what makes her a sweet lady, right? That's because you're not the one that's the questioner. Man's clothes in more detail. That's troublesome, man. You aren't realize if something like that matters. <laughs> but it does. Um, now, what was it? Oh, yes. It was that thing. What thing? That gaudy thing is always wearing. That racing jacket. Oh, he was wearing that at the detention center. That thing's meant for nothing but seducing women out of their path. Pantaloons, <laughs> men. Um, right. So, Mr. Wright, was the sound just not important or relevant in any way? Hmm, 
it's not important. I guess they're all that important after all. Oh, that's a lot. Do you know why to say Thomas Valley? Oh, no, I suggest you learn it. You want to bring on some of the swims here. That's mo more value than gold to me. Lady, you don't have youth. <laughs> I feel all the parts of her child's fine. She may not remember things we're gonna say, but I don't think she's lying. That's bad for us, real bad, but that. Carrying. Carrying. In which hat the swallow was left? Um. Ah, now this is a real mess. I mean, I can't be expected to answer such a vague question. On that, please be more specific. Or question what's a lot? So sorry. What was the man you saw carrying in his right hand? Oh, he wasn't carrying anything in that hand. So how about his left? Well, this whole thing is about a lot of nothing. But was the sesame just not? No. No. What am I? I'm so confused. the next one go on. Objection. Yeah, it contradicts evidence. Okay. Thank you so well. my turn about. Okay.
I I didn't realize my mistake now. So um yeah. Saw my client, yes see, blah blah blah. We're gonna go back and do the clothes. I messed up by saying it wasn't important. I should have just hit that everything was important. It's very important. Of course it was important, your honor. But perhaps you would like to pull out a part of that testimony was important. Don't you see, Edward? Your Honor, I request what the one said about the judge be at appended to a testimony. I don't quite see where we're going with this, but all right, witness, please. Oh well, I don't like to be bad at anyone without reason, but if I must. Miss Olbang? What? Don't say my name for that reason. Do you know what this is? Ah, it's about the number two on the German Ninja's costume. Now I know she's an obsessive fan. She identified it in a single glance. <laughs> give it here, give it here. If you don't give it to me, I'll punish you with this. Wow, she really has a dire fan who wants a bun cover blood. This button was discovered in Matt Engar's barn during a full body search. See, see? This one proved me I shot doubt that it was that Rasa Engard. It was caught up in the pleats of his nickel samurai hakama pants. See, see? And Engar is the nickel samurai. Witness? Now, it may just be me, and I do have an active imagination. But just now, didn't you say that the defendant, that Angle, was wearing his usual racing jacket? Ah, I'm so sorry. Sorry that you judge people based on what they wear. If I were the trend, it's just the man you think of it's been said, wearing this ridiculous thing on you agreed this was his, right? I get a table card talking about judge, let me tell you. It's having so much I wish we could switch to see if you can try to love the love of face. Don't you understand? Now take a look in the mirror. Your clothes are in so darn dry and cold and you take from edgy food. Now he's got style. Now hold your chance st still there for one more second. So what you saw actually was not Miss uh, Matt Angard, the man. But Miss Angard, the nickel summer. But when you think about it... I want the same anyway. Miss Olbeck, you were nothing. Your past experience with Mr. Will Powers. Miss Olbeck, this is a very important point we're talking about. Edgy Pooh, do you think so, too? Well, it might be something we'll consider. You say it's a poor I agree with me for a change. <laughs> but as the government, try to remember as much as you can before you testify. Uh, all right, if you insist. I should be the one sign, not you. Where's this one? Who I saw? Angar, Angar. Yes, now I remember. The Nickel Samurai. That's right, it was the Nickel Samurai that I saw. I saw the convenient for him to wear his costume during the mana. He got that post-ceremony stage show right after a crime, you know. So he must have worn that Nickel Samurai costume when he used to have him poor John. I, I knew it. I knew you'd say it was inside that costume. What? Do you think they're going to someone else inside that costume? Don't be a bad old boy thinking such true things. But, but the possibility does exist. Ah, young today, I told them there's no way it was anyone else. How do you know that? Because I said so, and what I say is the truth. At least she's a delight. She's just a delightful a witness such a world as a year ago. 
this rot, you might cross through that on the witness. Um. My qu cool cross examination time. show? Well, all the contestants are supposed to go on stage in a friendly jester thingy. And I include the jamming ninja? Of course I included him. That's why when Edger came out of Dear John's room, I didn't give a second thought. Hmm. I see. Well, anyway. So I must have won the Echo Center password set up poor John. So let me ask you one last time. The person you saw this really was Nico Samurai. I show his Emma. How have I been saying that from the very beginning? Can I throw in the towel yet? How do you think that was on the towel? It's caught the Yep, 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 yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, I just wanted to see if there was anything else that showed up. And I also kind of accidentally hit the wrong button. Autopsy report. Objection. No! What's so sorry for? Dang it! It's not that. I got the statement right. Yeah, so it's a knife. Big deal. If you're trying to scare me with that, I'll have you know. It, if you're trying to scare me with that, I'll... Uh, no, I need to find a voice. If you're trying to... Oh, like... If you're trying to scare me with that, I'll have you know it won't work. No, no, that's not my attention at all. That's the North Rose Yards in the mall, correct? Your Honor, do you know why this piece of evidence is important to this case? You don't even have to ask because the defendant's fingerprints are on it. Is that what you're driving at? That's exactly what I'm driving at. What are we driving at and whose car are we driving? What type of driving judge? Seriously, how did you become one? That angle was really in the nickel set. Or my costume at the top of the motor. Then it's impossible for his fingerprints to have been left on his on this knife. There we go! Gloves! Being used in the crime and not leaving fingerprints. Brought up!
Actually, what what of of previous fingerprints on this night? They fry off. Oh, a long shot. The next time I wear his gloves, so the key. I probably took his gloves off before he began the stabbing. And why did he do something like that? To leave his prints on the murder weapon? There's no way he would do something like that. Oh, well, that is one possibility. Then let's hear your possibility. That's about as simple, right? The defendant went to the victim's room while in costume as the Nicholas Samar. At the time, the defendant had no intent to murder. So I'll probably just go into an arc and talk with the victim about the shovel. Do you not remember what you said about them being tribals? Or gumshoe? Which is why he took off his gloves off. But the murder still did take place. It's well known that there was bad blood between the defendant and the victim. Although you just said it was a premeditated crime. That's worth. You gotta stick to a story, pal. Actually, maybe you should. Oh, whatever. Oh, well, so what? What do you have to say about Edward's theory? So let me get this straight. Edward's theory goes like this. When the defendant went to the victim's room, he had no intention of killing him. Now, up until this point, there are any problems with this theory? There is a... There's a contradiction. The theory contradicts something in an earlier testimony. What are you babbling about? Before you say, let's support Miss Engard as a killer, if that is the case. I think it's possible for the killer have gone to the book of the realm without intent. Uh, it's gotta be the crime scene photo, right? It's gotta be the crime scene photo. No? So the most such bigger. Enjoy your UFO. Uh, if humans don't live forever, never do your all yours. Should you like to pick your butt for way things through? I thought that was the thing! Right. Maybe I was supposed to show one of these two. Hey, pay attention, let's Oh, object. Mm, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Got to be Yes, that's what I thought. I mean it's got I just want to make sure because we are so going now. I just think you know we would need to show that there were two knives. This no, I this was used by Mr. Engard at dinner. Y yes, we established this, which means that if I quite was, in fact, the killer, then he brought this knife with him when he went to visit Mr. Cordia. I suppose. However, right, you just said yourself, that yourself, at that time, the defendant held no intent to murder. If that were true, then why would he bring a knife? He wouldn't, would he? Which means, but to Edward, your theory was flawed from one from supposition one. 
One more thing. If the murder was one of the costume at the top of the murder, then there should be glove marks left on the knife. Which means the fans' fingerprints shouldn't be all over it like these on the hive. And that brings me to my final point. This knife was planted by the real killer to hide their identity and mislead us. Order, 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 I say. Order in the court. Order, 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 order in the court. Was this knife all put by the killer? Why would the murderer do such a thing? To free my Engard. To free my client, my Mr. Engel, of course. To a friend! Objection. I ought to force on the interpretation just a little too hard Objection. on this one. But we established that the witness saw the nickel samurai in costume. If that were true, then there shouldn't be a single fingerprint on this knife. Brr. Witness! Looks like that made your life a tiny bit more difficult, huh, Edgy Poo? Uh, what else? Did you or did you not really see the Nickel Samurai? Well, I guess at first I might have forgotten, but... Or I say you mix up Mr. Angon with his Nickel Samurai, his character on TV. But, I mean, you can't really do anything about that now. Look, while I was waiting around from their doors, because, well, I wasn't running around for the Nickel Samurai, that's for sure. You want to wait for the Nickel Samurai? Alright then, who are you waiting for then? Huh, that's top secret to anyone's outside security. I feel that you're waiting for Mr. John Cordia. Am I correct, witness? Huh. <laughs> Why well, you think you're a sad amateur with a terrible case of near this? Amateur male? What do I mind amateur all of? Oh, I was waiting around in front of the victim's room. We're saving! But it doesn't sound like she was. Uh, was waiting to catch a glimpse of Mr. Cordial. That may be Phoenix. Maybe the old man was going around for that person. Hmm. That's why I think me as him. That is certainly possible. This old bag? Weren't you waiting for this person to come out of the victim's room, weren't you? Time to go for profiles! Is this person? This is Adrian Andrews, Mr. Engel's manager. But what would the defendant's manager be in the victim's room? I see that this is the latest role in circulation, Your Honor. Hmm. Oh, this is, well, this is. Hmm. Ah, I see. The judge seems to be really into the article. If he can be called such a thing. Then this manager with initials AA, are you saying it's Adrian Andrews, without doubt, the witness thought so as well. Hmm, looks like you found me out. Well, that's fine. I can throw away this whole small and confidentiality stuff that w witness. What in the world are you? Watch out, Phoenix. I've got a bad feeling about this. A very bad feeling. I got some information, some very secret information from a certain source. So that's why I'm doing my own little investigation. In secret, of course. But but what for? Oh, just for myself. Personal reasons and all that. Well, Mr. Edward, how will you proceed from here? Oh, I don't want to do this. However, I cannot simply let this point slide. I see. Very well then, witness. Please testify about the secret information. Get ready! This is gonna take the wind out of your youngins. Sure, we're all capable of handling this, really. It's not like we're 10 years old. That Engard is one evil, evil man. He thought he could ruin poor John by causing a huge scandal. So to do that, he sent an old manager to get clothes for John. I can't condone such dirty tricks, so I took action. Oh, and this top secret? You got that? No way else but you and me know yet, okay? The defendant sent his manager 
What a distasteful topic for this court. What number is above gossip? And isn't there a saying the truth is never pleasant? Never heard that one before. Mr. Adros, what about this Adrian Andrews person? We've looked into this matter. Found that the truth they are called fast is in fact baseless gossip. But should this be true, this proves that the fan did bear ill will towards the victim. I'm surprised none of you are thinking that maybe he did believe the romance was true and got jealous. I'm not saying that's what happened. I'm just saying that's what I would think and that's what I would want to pull for the storyline if I was the prostitution. Anyway. This means I have to smash this room once and for all. No, no, Mr. Rock. You might cross-examine the witness. Be careful. The old back seems very excited right now. That's right! Anger is nothing but your average full-blooded youth. Well, as the old thing goes, you've got to burn old bags of fire. Dr. Fire up the afterburns and hit the highway to the danger zone. Okay, Phoenix. Whatever. I took action. Like I already told you, I was lying in wait close to the crime scene. Once I saw an old woman who came out of John's room, I was going to capture her and teach her a good lesson. Something you youngins need. You are going to teach her a good lesson. I was going to make her eat the damage and beams with my ray gun. Like this. No, 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 stop. Throw the soup out, the woman. That woman didn't come from the the door that night. Wait. What? I'm a busy woman. Tea time with the kids is over. Seek more information that no one else knows yet. That's true, but how did you know this secret information? Ah, uh, well that's because I'm a pro, yes, that's it. it it's a secret, even if you throw the whole to my brain, you'll never find out. Oh, well, the like it's like such a secret piece of information. Lotto? No one else is supposed to know the secret information, correct? That's true. Then why do you know it, this old bag? What, what, why are you looking at me like that? Stop that. Witness? I says, but is this how you came to acquire your secret info, isn't it? Take that! Then this get a uh, photographer, Lot to Heart. Oh yes, I'll remember that mysterious girl. She reported that she had lost a certain note she had written to herself. She reported such a thing? On that piece of paper, she had written down some of her outright er, impressions about the relationship between the victim and Miss Andrews. Well, what? Outrageous ideas, you say? No, 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 I said impressions. Then, then. That I wrote down this paper is completely meaningless? Ah, oh, that's it. That's the note. Ah. Oh. No, you said this is something completely different. This is my top secret. This is the grocery survive. Well, 
And you're the one who took Mrs. Hart. No? I'm a huge fan of John, that's why. That infamous puffy haired wimp snapper. She's working with that evil and god. She sets her up. And god, I'm a sidekick. She was so happy smiling like a silly duck. I was always checking what she had written. Reggie Boo, you believe me, don't you? No. I've always tried to help out like an ain't like the an angel I am. It's only one little piece of paper. I've never taken anything else before. You really should have gone with the spot of cheese, my Joe Vintage wine. Well, it's only a piece of paper. I think we got one of this just this once. She looks like she's really sorry. Should I forget her? Um. Honestly, uh, up on her now, right? I have to... I want to make sure... I have to find some way to inflict a deafening blow to the prostitution. What next? You said that the only thing you sold was what? No. Is this correct? So so I don't listen more carefully, you annoying rat! I saved this piece of paper from the terrible and lonely trash can. That's all. You're lying! Uh, darn it! I can prove it! Are you pulling my credibility under scrutiny again? Miss Old Bag? Oh boy. Save! I don't believe that the note is the only thing that you stole that night. Miss Olbad, that note was with a camera inside its case, wasn't it? A camera? Last night, Law Heart was raising a huge stink over a camera. She kept saying something like, My sweetie, your 1,600 camera disappeared on me. Why? Why, what is this? What is it, Gramps? If you have that note, then it's only logical that you have the camera, too. Grr. Looks like you found me out again, Sonny. Is this the camera you're looking for? Ah, uh, that's it. What? Even though I look like this, I'm still a person, you know? I still eat meals like you. I fall in love and borrow things from people. Um, I think your definition of borrow is... Um, I think your definition of borrow is a little false. I sat that woman's business card, and that's when I know a success. Slime back celebrity talking for a certain air. Oh, when I saw that, I knew I, I had to know it was our picture she'd taken. Professional security guard, it's my business to know these things. Ready to live? Check this camera photos, hurry. We must examine them at once. Well, almost to add off, what do we have? There is only one fall that seems to be relevant to this case. Who is presented to the court? This, this is the Nickel Samurai. See, I told you, that's the guy I saw. This proves that the witness was not lot earlier about this matter. It still doesn't prove that it was and gone. It just proves that someone wearing the little samurai costume. What does this all mean? It's a draw. This all by itself does not prove that the person is the defendant. However, in his own confession, my anger 
Mr. Anger couldn't have said that. At the time of the murder, he was still in his like, old samurai costume. If that's the case, then this uh, nickel samurai is uh, the defendant. How did it come to this? I think this brings us to the end. We examine every piece of evidence thoroughly. Final comments, Mr. Wright. The court will consider them before we close. Do you agree that this photo is decisive evidence against a client? So we're really decisive that we're done for. One wrong move and you're done for. Anything I don't approve of, you're done for. Well, if I raise that objection here and blow it, then I will put Maya's life in jeopardy. I can't make a mistake there. There's only one road out of this mess. This is the photo that long hot took bears. It's in the court record. Uh, I want instructions. Um. Wait, she gave us. I don't know what I'm supposed. Strange with this photo. I knew this was coming, right? You're such easy to read, like a book. Your thoughts, Mr. Edward? I think we can all agree there is nothing strange with this photo. There's no way for the defense to debunk this photo, even with a bunker buster. You bunk with a bunker buster? Is that what we're planning to do, Mr. Wright? Um, anyway, please look at the photo one more time. If you really believe you can honestly find something wrong with this photo, then you should only need one chance, correct? And we have a new save! Oh, well, I have to find something wrong with this photo. I can't let this chance go by. Where in the heck did she take this photo from, anyway? It's all out of focus. Why can't she get, get you take a good shot? Especially when it counts. Now then, let's hear your objection. Why well, about this photo is strange? Take that! I think the feet is on. Design, I'm not entirely sure. I'd like to direct the court's attention to this one error right here. What are you going to do with ankles? If you could see this person's ankles, that would be one thing. However, you can't. Uh, uh, and what does that mean? Because even this person's phone cannot have been so angle. What is the meaning of this? I wonder if you care to elaborate with actual facts that is. It would maybe let me explain first before you make objections. Just saying. Let's take a look at the Nicholas Samurai's poster. He's paid particular to the area around the bottom of the car. His, his socks, you can see his socks. 
so was that? I was thinking you couldn't see all the designs all the way around. I was. That's what I was going for. Exactly. However, is this photo? Nekosara's current home is a cow just. up uh, just to walk. Followed only one explanation for this. The plot outside the sculpture is only much shorter than the defendant. Oh, I think I've turned things around for myself this time. That's curious. Huh? What is? I don't feel unusually calm today. That's true. Usually he just lets the trial run itself. And he's only as if He's just letting the trial around itself as if he's only along for the ride. Is he doing this because he knows Maya is in danger? Along for the ride? What do you mean by that? I can only guess that perhaps he doesn't feel under attack at all. He doesn't feel under attack? That I haven't damaged his case at all? Mr. Adrol, where does this leave us? The person on this photo was not Matt Engard. The everything the prosecution has tried to prove has become meaningless. Sorry, not meaningless. Hmm. Off I go to come to this. What? Right, I have something I want to ask you. I think you're appalling that the person signed this costume was not Matt Engard. In that case, who is this a photo of? Who's the person wearing the nickel samurai costume? Don't stress out over this phoenix, it's very simple. Well, you should be focused on Andrew's attitude, don't you think? Yeah, that is strange. Yeah, why is he so calm? What's the what? Let's hear your thoughts. Yeah, one moment. Just let me save, you know. So that way I don't lose four more bars. Who's the person in this photograph? Take that! Oh, Adrian Andrews. If you want to know who that nickel samurai is, it's an other than this woman. I wanted to say it must be Miss Andrews. What would the or old point seem to her? For stars, she's short, and she could really move in and out of Mr. Engard's room. Finally, she had dinner with Mr. Engard that night. A heart is that all add up. It means that it makes it very easy for her to get a certain item. It's so a knife with Mr. Engard's fingerprints all over it. Knife is used as a murder or weapon. Why don't you just say... Just say... What it is you want, Mr. Wright? I have to do this now. This is my last chance to turn things around. The defense moves to indict Mr. Andrews and the murder of Jean Cordia. It was Miss Andrews who tried to frame the defendant for the crime. Order, order, order! It was that this trial has hit a most unexpected development. Mr. Edward? Yes, your honor. This court is issuing a sub subpoena for Miss Adrian Andrews. A verdict cannot pass without first hearing the testimony. Alright, this is it. This is kind of bad for us. Huh? What do you mean? Miss Adrian Andrews is sent to court as a witness. It means that the trial will go on for another day. Her day? Ack! If I don't get a verdict today, then Maya. No, we shall send us to our return for tomorrow. But what am I supposed to do? The judge is about to adjourn the court. I've got a reason objection. Now then. Please, your honor, continue the trial. You must pass the verdict today. I can't do that. I can't do that. We cannot help Miss Andrews tell someone she is not. I 
example. This is such valuable time. Edgeworth. <laughs> Edgeworth. You brought her. Please tell me you brought her. Look to death's trial. But, but. We cannot continue due to this unexpected development. Just, just unexpected development. I think you underestimate me, Your Honor. Perhaps I've been gone away for far too long. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Mr. Frank's right. Let's sit. Leave his way to Sir P and Mr. Andrews is all happened according to plan. Even Bright was a big bit slow to catch on. What what what? What? <laughs> what is the matter of your statement, Mr. Edgeworth? This Adrian Andrews is currently waiting in the prostitution lobby. She is the next witness. Everything, everything was planned on advance by that man? Edgeworth, are you helping, purposefully helping us out? I don't understand. Somehow, I feel there's no way Edgeworth can overlook with Andrews. Looks like this battle's far from over. Exactly. Very well. We will call the next witness. However, before we can proceed, we should take a 10 minute rest. Us. Please prepare your witness in that time, Mr. Edward. The court will now take a 10 minute recess. Be continued. And that is a perfect place to end. This so yeah. Let's be real. The trial is probably gonna take an hour, two and a half hours. It normally does. So yeah. Let's see. Oh yeah, she's live. We'll rate her. Yeah. I think I'm. I think I'm off Monday again. So I, uh, yeah, we'll be streaming this again Monday, and then after that, we'll be back with. After that, we'll go back and do my magic units run. <laughs> Continue that. Until next week. Bye.